Hey, bro, one more fucking move, and I'm a freaking shot this broad. No cap. I mean it, bro. Bro, Pete tested this man's gangster. Look this man deep in his soul. And the minute that this man, Impossible Spider Man, was looking, was stuttering, my man Pete literally, literally flipped a web line, pulled this man to the, pulled this man over temp, and gave this man the meanest backhand in history. Pimp slapped this motherfucker. What? What? How's it going, Squad Nation? It's your boy. And today, we are back again with more Ultimate Spider-Man. First and foremost, I gotta give y'all applause because y'all been guys have been loving the hell out of these Ultimate Spider-Man stuff. So I'm gonna keep on doing it. <laughs> and before we get to the main course, the main entree, the main event, I gotta talk about Gwen Stacy in this Ultimate Universe because she is the boldest chick in this entire series. Like, bro, out here. The level of positioning she did to secure that she was going to be Peter's side hoe to later be main girl is absolutely insane. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Like, for example, Shadi pulled up to my man Pete in his own crib. Wearing his while, while he was wearing nothing but his undergarments, his only a, a little, little like freaking like you know, what I'm saying underarm shirt and some boxers, bro. On a call with MJ, and Shoddy pulled up with some of the most boldest positioning, period. Like saying, See, about to stay the night. I'm not kidding, bro. Like, Shoddy ended up staying the night, bro. And MJ was like, bro, she was MJ. She said her girlfriend's senses were tingling, bro. She dead ass. You know what I'm saying? She 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 knew. She knew Gwen was on something devious. She knew Gwen was on something devious. She wanted that Peter Gwen wanted that Peter Parker D. No cap, bro. And she was and she was eyeing up on Peter. I'm not gonna lie to you. She was looking at that that dick print, bro. She was like, mm-hmm. I can't wait for that shit to be up in me tonight, you know what I'm saying? Like, the positioning was crazy. And she got her fucking pops to freaking, like, do this, too. She, she, she basically got her pops, you know what I'm saying, approval to stay the night at Park Peter's crib. That is, that is insane. <laughs> Bro, and obviously this had some this this gave some whole bunch of holy freaking fights for Peter and MJ because again, like I said, MJ she knew she knew what Gwen's timing was on. She wanted to play Mrs. Steal Your Man, Mrs. Steal Your Nigga, because she was on that type of shiz. Now, on to the main events. And this pretty much I'm pretty much about to segue into this really quick. Uh, basically, Gwen Stacy's little, like, you know what I'm saying, stay at the Parker residence pretty much became low-key permanent. Because Gwen's pops up and got got. <laughs> no cap, bro. Enter the imposter Spider-Man. And I'm not gonna lie to you, bro was on some menace timing. Pretty much... Proving that Spider-Man is indeed a freaking menace to freaking society. Even got J. John Jameson busting a holy freaking nut, right? But on one occasion, on one of the heists that Imposter Spider-Man was on. Also, blue pop quiz before I even go forward. Who do you think is under that mask? In the Imposter Spider-Man's mask. Is it A, Mysterio or B, the Chameleon? Because those are the only two people I, I know for a fact that's in that actually imposter that actually did a good job impostering Spider-Man. You know what I'm saying? So it's either A Chameleon or B Mysterio, right? Let, let me know in the comments down below. Don't cheat, because you the answer will come later down the later down this video. 
But as right now, comment down below, A or B, right? So anyways, uh, the boss Spider-Man one of these heists, uh, you know, Captain Stacy, Gwen's father, literally shot one of the freaking bags that my man Impost Spider-Man was carrying. I don't know what the fuck was in that bag. I'm not going to hold you because that shit lit up like a Christmas tree. Like, it was smoking. I'm pretty sure it was a freaking bomb, something explosive. Who the frick knows? My man Impost Spider-Man tossed that bitch and was about to land on a kid. Obviously, Captain Stacy tried to be Captain Save a Child. And that man got ended up getting blowed the hell up, apparently. So, obviously, Gwen's in the dumps. She's just lost her whole freaking father. And Pete, feeling like, you know what I'm saying, feeling like shit because not only, because not only, obviously her fucking father got got, but her father died because of it, this imposter freaking Spider-Man that has been impostering my man Peter. My man... Now with someone emotions involved, and plus Gwen being somewhat of a little bit, not gonna lie, she was kind of looking like she was being a little side hole, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of a, a little s s sneaky link, trying to become a little sneaky link, no cap, right? Some emotions were involved, and my man Pete decided to tee the fuck up for real, and decided to go ahead and beat this man, Impostor Spider-Man's ass. Man showed up to a bank that he was about, that man's was robbing, broke in, and bro didn't waste no freaking time, bro. I'm, I'm gonna be a front, bro. Like, bro showed up, and Pastor Spider-Man was on some crazy shit, saying like, hey, bro, one more fucking move, and I'm a freaking shot this broad. No cap, I mean it, bro. Bro, Pete tested this man's gangster. Look this man deep in his soul. And the minute that this man, Impossible Spider-Man, was looking, was stuttering, my man Pete literally, literally thwipped a web line, pulled this man to the, pulled this man over to him, and gave this man the meanest backhand in history. Pimp slapped this motherfucker. And came, and came charging in like Peter, like this whole, th this fight, it wasn't even a fight. This was a slaughter. Man slaughtered this 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 imposter, proving that this man is indeed a fraud. Bro, the imposter Spider-Man's like, yo, bro, chill. Yo, what are you doing? Like, dog, like, Peter P was showing that he had that dog in him, bro. Frame freaking one, right? Like, imposter Spider-Man was trying to fight back, trying to throw a freaking web line. And my man, Pete, caught that. He's like, really, nigga? Th 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 this is, this is what, this is, this is, this is your web? This is your thing? Th th this is you? This you, and then just proceed to pull this to pull this man over, and proceeds to beat this man down, bro. Again, and man pulls off the mask, and then like, bro, who the heck are you to freaking impersonate me, me, nigga, me, right? And like I said, before I even show it off, who do you think? Who do you think is this imposter Spider-Man? Is it? A, the chameleon, or B, the Mysterio? Or C, because there, there was not, it was neither the chameleon or Mysterio. It was neither. It was just some random dude, bro. Just a guy. Just a smojo, bro. I'm not kidding. It was just a random smojo. A random smojo. Like this, man. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Bro, like some random dude decided to... Wear a Spider-Man costume, have some bootleg web shooters and shit, and Pro wanted to be Spider-Man to freaking rob banks and do all of this shit, bro. I'm not kidding. Bro, and I'm not going to lie to you. Dude was looking mad freaking ugly. Can I just say that? Dude was looking mad freaking ugly. I, 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 I mean, let me be clear. P was being the dog out of him. Being the dog piss out of him. So maybe, you know what I'm saying, Pete may have rearranged his face a little, but still, dude still looked ugly as hell. And Pete, I'm not gonna lie, Pete was ready to kill this man off rip. About to off him off rip. Everybody in attendance was like, yo, this man actually about to kill this man. Eventually, Pete decided to let go. He's like, okay, no, 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 let me not do this. Let me not do this. Power responsibility. 
I, I, I need to have me. You know what I'm saying? Can't I can't I can't I can't, I can't do it. More code, more code can't do this to me. So man decides to just whip him, whip him up, leave him for the police, and end scene. <laughs> Obviously, as I said again, Gwen Stacy's whole like you know what I'm saying stay at the Parker residence became freaking permanent because again, Shawty Shawty's father got got and. Her mother just didn't really give a fuck. She really didn't give a fuck about the father nor her her own her own daughter. So obviously, at this point, Gwen Lily has nowhere else to go but to stay at the Parker residence. This obviously didn't set well with Mary Jane, even in the slightest, considering the fact of the amount of positioning, the amount of plays that she was doing to get close to Peter. Mary Jane was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm leaving. Type B. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro. She, she, she up and left. I'm not kidding, bro. She up and left. Oh, my God. Got my man Peter hurt. Like, even though that, yeah, Gwen was, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of a side, you know what I'm saying? MJ was Peter's true love. Low, low cap. Like, come on, bro. So... That's pretty much it. <laughs> so, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, like this video. Comment down below. Share this video across social media if you can. And subscribe if you watch out. This is Play Sucks signing out. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace!